good, so I, I like the comp by Origin overall. It's worked itself out. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the mad composition though. Before they change, it's just not that strong in the early lane phase. Two playthings gone already. That is wild. I think yeah, we're gonna is. have some actions. I can talk about it later. Oh my word, that's a flash engage from Kaiser. Upsets oh. the first target, first blood to shadow. It is traded though, one for one. AD for support. Now Afari, he throws out the boomerang. He's about to get excited. The hyper keeps letting him chase down onto humanoid. Flash over from Destiny. Like a dredge line or a boop to the head. That's all that's gonna be needed. Oh, Two kills. Uh, upset lost. Burn both summoners. Kazi has a TP to get back into lane. This is going to be very easy for Mad Lions to, to just continue. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, so this goes very well. That's what the Syndra said. Advantage, flash advantage. This is going to be most likely another kill. OG need to find a way to stop the bleeding. Here we go again. Mad Lions. Oh, looking for it. Not going to find the stun. That's a pullback at least. A couple of punches to the face. A left, a right. True damage comes out. Good cocoon from Zersei. Not going to do much. But then also Kaiser, you know, he can use that ult to close some distance. But pulling back upset. The shield Ooh. comes up. Unleash <laughs> power. Then maybe. But Origin are looking for a trade on the top side. And yeah. I like this decision. And Origin all split long have also prioritized the Rift Herald. How, how they've really showed they can be dominant and they can speed up their play when they want to. I think, uh, you know, slow has such a negative connotation to it yes. for some That's reason. Roma. Correction, Humanoid decides not to chase. I was thinking Aroma too, and then I realized Humanoid. I was surprised, like, Aroma, this aggressive? With that in mind, how do you think Origin are going to have to stack up? They, they, they cannot give away the, the Dragon Soul without a team fight, but I do like the chances that a team fight with this comp. Yeah, for sure. Interact. If. Orn gets a beautiful ultimate that kind of one-shots Kazi, all of a sudden the fight also changes, there's a lot of options. Yeah, there is. Nuketuck gets jumped on first, Kazi and Kaiser a little bit late to this party here. Kaiser manages to go in, gets the showstopper down, Destiny goes golden, Nuketuck will be taken out in just a moment. No, he escapes oh. with his life! Alfari comes in and gets the Meganar against the wall. Nobody died in that engage, but look how low those HP bars are, the bracket. And they're in an advantageous position statistically. With the I mean, advantage at this point in time is not there. Mad Lions can rely on their burst and their survivability is going to be difficult only with one damage and tank damage to finish them off. You can see Humanoid what? tanking up so much. Dude, that was a 1v2. Here comes Kaiser. Oh, and he says, Sozzy. That's already one kill on to Destiny. <laughs> New tech is going to fall. I forced that one a little hard, my friend, but it counts. Two more kills. to keep pressuring OG. Then I start getting nervous, right? All upgrades plus Aphelios plus Nar in the side lane. But all of that goes out the window unless the fight goes awry. That's a one for one so far. Massive knock up from Nuketuck. Here comes Arome. Nature's Grasp hasn't been thrown yet. And Humanoid survives. The Blade of the Rune King does so much work. You called it, Yamato. You can't oh. kill the Renekton. Alfari goes in. He gets a double Mega Nar into the wall. But now all of a sudden it's OG. They've turned it right back around. Mad Lion started the fight. But it is it was dead. around and the fight started. I was uh, surprised by how long Destiny survived because he didn't have Goggle Stone played yet. But the fact that he survived for so long with uh, <laughs> OG. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's fantastic. And the pancake is not flipped just yet. Uh, it's still cooking very nicely as the showstopper lands onto Nuketech. Sorry, I just I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> uh, they get the kills, they complete the TP, and Mad Lions get the tower. A good move here from Mad Lions. I think Origin was very focused around that Baron area, and uh, Mad Lions pulled the trigger. Origin the same now. Oh, nice. All right. Nice stun. It was, yeah, the Moonlight Vigil, but nothing else happened. Here comes Humanoid. That's a giant Croco toy. He's not going to be able to find the stun though. Upset was able to flash to safety. Good damage Please. in return as Destiny starts to escape. There's the knock up. Arome goes flying forward. The slice flash. Call the meek. As well as all the damage from Humanoid. No kills just yet. Now all of a sudden, Nuketuck goes down. Zerse is coming from behind. You do not. The end of days, to... right? So Origin, if they choose to to give it up and wait for maybe another item for Aphelios, maybe another yeah, upgrade. Relatively soon, you have to expect that's when OG want to step forward. Combine the Meganar with the uh, depth charge from Destiny. That's a knockup okay. onto Shadow. Gets caught by the dredge line. Goes golden thanks to Stopwatch. Moonlight Vigil comes in, but I'm not sure if it's enough. Call of the Forge God have mad lost control. That's a fantastic stun, but no kill just yet. Nobody dies. Oh. The engage the suplex gets dunked. Origin, they've got a kill or two. Upset. Now Nuketuck is down as well. Cause he's gone.
they just took it away. And it means that they're getting the cloud rig. It also means that they will have a good position moving towards the national. Yeah, it is going into playoffs, locking themselves in fourth with the win here. Locking OG into third. I mean, it's, it's going to be very, very interesting. Humanoid will go down despite the Dominus. Um, it doesn't feel like it's hugely important right now. He's coming in. But today we have a cocktail composition for Mad Lions that is working. Go Kaiser, go! Dead man's plate! He's gonna be able to pull back Destiny and Wings is the ultimate come down, not even near oh. saving it for another target. But Mad Lions are starting the national. Molten Edge as well as the Hurricane and the Essence Reaver. Upset's got no ultimate, but he does have Flash and Cleanse. Nuke Duck gets stunned up. Teleport coming in from Humanoid in behind. Kaiser brings Nuke Duck to the team. But remember, he's got no ulti. All of a sudden, that's a very important route. Humanoid continues to chase forward. Two members of Origin are down. And now they turn back to the bound. This is aggressive. This is confident and committed play. Alfari, he's about to gnaw out. He's got flash available. He's not going to go in. I really thought he was going to. But they've got a little bit of a late arrival now. All of a sudden, Destiny comes in. Nature's grasp has denied any further follow-up. Alfari is about to time out. He's not going to be able to mega gnaw. And Destiny just donates another death to the Mad Lion. Oh! It's a beautiful play from Shadow, turning the lights out on Origin. Another kill, chasing down one more. Kazi is dominating. Eight, one, and four. Xerxes is running for his life and he's about to get jumped on by Shadow. Shadow was schooled by Xerxes the first time they met, but it is Shadow that gets revenge today. Wonder now if Nuta can defend the base. Mad Lions aren't the quickest pushes. They don't have an AD carry, but Mad Lions are strong enough to look for a dive. This Malka is super, super tanky. Activate Righteous Glory and just look for the dive. You can go for it. Oh, Protect the minions! Horn, Horn has come down. Destiny's in place. Nexus turn number one is down. Humanoid's tanking everything up. Pulled backwards by Kaiser. And Kazi gets himself another. Gets himself a, du a, a double. Damn it! Mad Lions take down Origin and secure fourth place in the Spring Splits. What a fantastic.